everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we're going to do another Divine Feminine reading. This reading is meant to be timeless, so if you find it on a week in which it wasn't uploaded, um, then there's still a message for you. This applies even if you are a Divine Masculine wanting to have some insight on your Divine Feminine, or if you're a Divine Feminine yourself and you want some insight into what's going on with you, if you found this video, this message is for you. So we are going to pull from the Keepers of the Light deck uh, for the Divine Feminines this week. I've already shuffled, so we're just going to dive in. Ooh, the, the first card is Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Divine Feminines, we're, we're talking about your twin flame right now. This is... This, that's what this is, soul flame, twin flame. Um, yeah, you're talking about um, discovering harmony with your twin flame. And of course that first happens within. Um, so if you're doing the inner work, you know, you're building on that peace and harmony and you're starting to feel good within yourself, that's when uh, your twin flame is going to be able to come to you and come to you in a sustainable way. Um, when you have like these little mini breakthroughs where you get a text or a call from your twin flame, like that can feel really great. But when you've mul when you've really like, what do you say? Like, I guess I was going to say like multiplied, but when you've like, um, healed through all of the upsets that you have keeping you from union and you really like heal those things at the core and you start to feel really good within and you feel really good being with yourself, then you know that you can sustainably be with your twin flame. Uh, because you've built that foundation of trust with yourself and unconditional love with yourself. And, you know, you want to rediscover these parts of yourself that feel separate from you. And when you've, like, integrated them in, like, that's when your twin flame can really come to you and be with you in the physical. So, exciting cards so far. We're, we're talking about your twin flame. This is coming together. All right. The next card is Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. And so I feel like this is just a call to follow your intuition. Um, and if some, if your heart is telling you that this is your twin flame, maybe you have, a, maybe you've had a question on your heart, or maybe you know you've had this deep knowing within you that this person is your twin flame, or you've known that you were coming together, or anything like that. Like trust your intuition, uh, divine feminines, because. That peaceful feeling in your heart is pointing you towards the truth. Um, whether or not, like, the person that you think is your twin flame is your twin flame or not, like, I'm not here telling you, like, maybe this is a confirmation that this, whoever this person you're thinking of is your twin flame. Um, but it can also be that this situation that you're in, um, this, this person that you're being guided towards is leading you towards your twin flame, whether they are your twin flame or not. So trust your intuition, trust your guidance, claim your twin flame in your heart um, because you already have the answers within you. You already actually know your twin flame deep down in your heart and you know that energy, you know what you're looking for um, and you're just clearing the blocks to that being fully revealed, um, even to yourself sometimes, but you're, you're clearing that out and then the, the knowledge that you already have is able to come up from that place of peace and God will be able to communicate that with you uh, when you clear your blocks to it and you're able to see it clearly. All right, next card, prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Yeah, so this is really guidance to connect with the divine. Like this is, you know, this, these roses, this is very like crown chakra energy that we have right here for the divine feminines this week. And it's really connecting with God. Um, of course, I've said it many times on this channel that your connection with your twin flame is really uh, just your connection with God. So um, if you really cultivate connecting with the divine, connecting with God, really cultivating that love and your connection to God within yourself, um, there's no difference in that and the love that you're looking for within your twin flame. You have access to it right now. That is the love of your union. So the more that you recognize that and cultivate that and form a relationship with that, that's actually you building that relationship with your twin flame. And that'll carry over when you actually have them 
with you in your um, physical reality because that's going to naturally come through them. God is going to come through them to be with you. And that doesn't mean you won't have any upsets because you will because they're going to take you deeper into love. You're going to have upsets with your twin flame, but you'll be able to weather that storm uh, when you connect with God. So make sure you're cultivating that connection um, and regularly speaking with God. And you can do that through prayer or meditation or mere exercise. And that really tells God, like, yes, I'm in it and I'm, I'm loving you and I'm loving myself and I'm loving my twin flame and that's what I'm calling in. All right. And the next card is Sacred Self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Yes, Divine Feminines. It feels like you're really you're really claiming this week your like yourself. Um, you know, you're you're finding this lost part of yourself, you're kind of connecting with your twin flame within, like recovering these parts of yourself that have felt separate. Uh, you're trusting your intuition, you're connecting with God, and you're really just finding that sacred self, that self that is you. And of course, your twin flame is a part of that because they are an extension of you. Um, so don't be afraid to step into that power. And I really love this card because she's like, she's really in her, her like feminine energy. She's like, um, you know, in her power. And that's like extremely attractive and to her twin flame. And I want to really call out that this dove here is here for a reason because peace is power. You know, we think that power is, you know, this like brute force or something like that, or, you know, this show of force and might and strength, but peace is powerful. God is peaceful. And, um, you can see how pe like this dove, like, it's just very, like, it's, it's a peace dove, right? But it's, like, very powerful, and it's, like, outstretched wings, and it's, it's you know, really just coming into the full expression of itself. And that's what I feel like the Divine Feminine is really doing this week. And as you do that, like, you're shining your light so that your Divine Masculine can find you. All right. And the last card is Focused Intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. Yeah, again, this is like you kind of connecting with yourself and, you know, having that focused intention of what you truly desire. Um, because if you're settling from cr for crumbs, especially from your twin flame, you're just sending that message of like, I don't deserve better. Um, I've seen too many uh, divine feminines and, you know, Jeff and Shalia talk about this. They've posted in the forum about this they've set, talked about this in traveling ascension school is that a lot of times divine feminines may uh fall into this trap of like uh, and divine masculines do this too don't don't get me wrong but uh it tends to be in the divine feminine consciousness of like oh i'm just gonna like settle or something like that and you absolutely do not have to it's really important for the divine feminine to hold your value high you you should not accept your uh, masculine behaving in a way that you wouldn't actually want to be treated in in such a way. Like if your twin flame is only showing up and treating you like a booty call, don't accept that as um, how you should be treated. Um, it's safe to have a boundary with your twin flame if that feels bad to you. Um, it's okay to say no, like you're in it with me or not. And have that boundary there because your twin flame is going to res or like respect that decision, even if he's like upset and triggered by it. Um, you know that boundary that you're setting is saying like I hold my value high, and so should you. You should hold my value high, and because he is you, and you're making that choice to hold your value high, he's going to rise to meet that occasion. Um, and he may not do it in that instant that you set that boundary. But as you heal into that space, he will he will heal as well. So focus on what you actually desire. Do you just want a drop in on and off relationship, or do you want the full thing, divine feminine? Um, and that is like focus that intention, and that's what you're gonna like manifest. And don't be afraid to follow through on those actions. Don't be afraid to lose your twin flame. You can't lose your twin flame, and set those boundaries if you need to. Um, just know that you can have all that you desire and you're meant to have all your desire you desire. You don't have to settle for crumbs. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
if you would like support on your twin flame journey, if you're having uh, trouble connecting with your divine self, or if you're having trouble even connecting with your twin flame, or if you would like your own uh, personalized oracle reading to know uh, what's the next steps on your healing journey and what's specifically going on within your union, you can find my services at sacredtwinflameunion.com and I will see you in the next video.